Question from online. Initial, initial is JW from DC, USA. Washington, DC, USA. Uh, should a brother take a brother sitting down as a sutra? And uh, is it recommended to sit until they are finished? Sorry. I would say that is not haram, it's permissible. Whereas the Prophet ﷺ never specified what the sutra can and cannot be. He never specified what the sutra can and cannot be, what it should and should not be. He never specified that. There are hadith that talk about fire, not praying towards fire. That's one issue, not praying towards a fire, imitating the people of shirk and kufr. Other than that, I don't know about hadith in which the Prophet ﷺ specified what the sutra can and cannot be. Everybody understand this? He didn't necessarily specify that. Okay, so that's first and foremost. So it being permissible. Secondly, is it recommended or is it a good thing? If you feel that the person is going to remain sitting there for the duration of your salah, that best. If you feel like the person is going to get up, the person is going to move, the person is going to talk, the person may break his wind, anything may happen, then obviously it's best to take a sutra of something that's an inanimate object. A wall, a column, a pillar, a chair, whatever the case may be. But if you feel that the brother is not going to move, and he's going to do something that's going to disturb your salah, la bas. And in many athar that the pious predecessors, they would say, wallini dhahraka. They say, give me your back. Lend me your back. Let me wrench your back for a couple of minutes to make the salah. And they would pray behind him. So there's nothing wrong with that. However, there lies no doubt the wall, the minbar, this and that is going to be what? It's better, it's easier. It may be less of a means of distraction. However, in Jum'ah, people are sitting in the rows, they're sitting in the ranks, la bas. There's nothing wrong with that. As far as the one who's sitting down, if you notice someone's praying behind you, then I would say it's possibly best to remain sitting down until your brother is finished. Not to distract him and not to take his implementation of the sunnah away from him. Wallahu ta'ala alam. Obviously, if you have to get up, you have to get up. That's why it's best to make something that's what? It doesn't move. Huh? Wallahu alam.